There are a lot of Quest 3 accessories, and they are expensive. But there is an alternative from buying from companies, an alternative that is a fraction of the cost and gives you options you just don't see from commercial products. There is a world of innovation and customizability at our fingertips in the form of the internet and a 3D printer. From gun stocks to hat clips to open periphery designs, I've tested a boatload of different accessories to bring you the wildest 3D printed accessories for the MetaQuest 3. So in this video I'm going to show you a few of my favourite 3D printed accessories for the Quest. I've been trying out a load of different designs, and while some are just for the aesthetic and feel, others are something the Quest definitely needs, and especially the one at the end, as Boz has also stated he loves this idea. But the world of 3D printing has changed a lot since the last time I properly used a filament printer. It was incredibly complicated and had a thousand different things that could go wrong. I wanted to make this video at some point as there are so many weird and wonderful 3D printed accessories for VR, but the process was just too daunting. Until this printer specifically came along, the Creality K1. Hands on my heart, this is by far the easiest, most simplistic 3D printer I've ever used. And while the initial cost of a printer isn't particularly cheap, the parts that you do print are. Buying a printer isn't also the only option though, and I'll explain later in the video. So first, I wanted to show you this, a 3D printed table tennis attachment. To briefly show you how easy it is to print this sort of thing, it's quite literally drag and drop to the printer and works much like a paper printer. I needed a new handle as I only printed one half, but this specific accessory would cost about 50p, which is about 65 cents, just to give you an idea of the print costs. It's accessories like this that I love and it reminds me of the weird accessories you used to get for the Wii. Obviously you can change the rotation setting in the game to match the accessory, but it genuinely makes it much more realistic when playing VR table tennis. And it's these types of accessories that I like, the more unconventional. The addition of mixed reality and in combination with real world equipment like paddles for table tennis, allow for the closest possible match and blend between real world sports or games with virtual reality. But with a 3D printer, if you have one like the K1, the risk of trying new accessories is near zero as the material costs are so low. Yes, there are some pointless accessories out there, like this fishing attachment, but it's cool and sometimes adds an incredible amount of immersion. There are also more practical things like stands and holders you can print. And if you want to look for yourself, check out Thingiverse. Every design on this site is free, and more specifically we're talking about VR, there are plenty of other things you can print. There are standard head straps and knuckle style grips, but really the possibility is endless. If you have a bit of 3D design knowledge, you can even make your own designs. The Creality K1 is also super fast and it printed these audio boosters in less than an hour. And yes, you heard that right, audio boosters. These in particular caught my eye because if you cup your hands around where your speakers are, the sound is greatly improved. And that's why I wanted to test these bad boys out. There are two accessories in particular that I'm keeping permanently on my quest. And this is one of them. I thought I'd try the audio booster on big screen and my god did it make a difference. To print this is obviously free in terms of the design so I have no reason to speak positively or negatively unless they are genuinely good or bad. And all I can say is it improved the sound quality by about 50%. I think if I add some sort of fabric to the interior the sound could be improved even further. But that's the beauty of 3D printing, it's all custom. You can download the model, make your own edits and try to make the Quest headset of your dreams. The print size of the K1 also allows you to print much bigger things like head straps and holders and with a bed size of 220 by 220 by 250 really the only limit is your imagination. But that brings me to what I consider the ultimate 3D printed accessory for the Quest 3, which I've wanted from the beginning and so does Boz Meta CTO and that's the open periphery design. This file is also on Thingiverse and printed nicely on the K1 but my god is it a game changer with mixed reality. I became really fond of the open periphery design on the Quest Pro and I missed it when I moved to the Quest 3, but if you haven't tried it you really need to. To be able to see your, out your periphery is a game changer and the fact it puts you closer to the pancake lenses means you even get a slightly higher field of view, I'd imagine around 120 degrees. You can even try this out now by removing your faceplate just to give you an idea. Now that brings me to cost. There is an option to buy prints online with companies like the 3D people, but I can't recommend that as it is expensive and you can't really test effectively without forking out a large amount of money. 
The cost of the Creality K1 is just under $500, which in the world of 3D printing is a good price. The filament cost is around $10 to $15 or pounds per kilo, and just to give you an idea, one spool could print nearly 20 of these open periphery designs. So once you own a printer, the cost is incredibly cheap. Most accessories from companies are getting increasingly expensive. And if you're a long-term VR user, I have to recommend a 3D printer to you. Honestly, it's a joy to go from PC to product in a matter of hours. And although I got sent the Creality K1 as part of a sponsor, the reviews speak for themselves. It's by far the easiest printer I've used, and I'm only just getting started with it. If you'd like to know more about the K1 or the prints used in this video, links are in the description. If you like the video, like and subscribe. And as always, I'll catch you on the next one.